everybody, welcome back to another video. In this one we're going to be doing a part two to my auction video where I showed you all the horses that I had currently available, so that y'all could offer for any, and I actually did end up getting a lot of offers on a lot of the horses, so thank you very much if you gave one of those a home. And by the way, if y'all um, see one that you like and for some reason like someone else trades for it before you can, just let me know and I will happily attempt to breed you another one just for you. And I, I do have copies of a lot of them, not copies, but you know, I normally end up keeping the original parents, so I can probably get you one, so you just let me know, alright? So we're going to start off this one by breeding a foal, because I want to, and I don't know exactly what I want to do, but we're just going to look through my stuff and see. Do I have any thoroughbreds? I do. Um... Yeah, you know, my purebreds are not available. I feel like I have a lot of thoroughbreds anyways, though, so we're going to go ahead and breed an Arab. Do I have a coat I want on? I'll, maybe I'll do this Arab, because I love that coat. Hey! Interesting. Anyways, so, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to breed it with this Clydesdale. I feel like this would be a good combination either way. I'd love that in an Arab. I'd love another Arab like that, and I'd like either Clyde or Arab. Same with that. So let's just go ahead and see what we get, guys. Let's see. <gasps> oh, guys. Look at that beautiful little baby. Let's just look at it. <sighs> Oh, a dapple gray Arab with a gray mane and tail, independent female. So that one will be available if anybody is interested. So she will be available, and I better just give her a little name. I don't know what I want to name her. Um, I don't know. Just came to my mind. Teaspoon. That's her name. She's kind of small and cute. <laughs> Why are we going with units of measurement? I don't know. I have an Appaloosa with the snow... F oh, well, I don't, actually. I'll just drag her out here. Appaloosa foal with the snowflake coat. Um, so what I'm specifically looking for, guys, is unique coats on Appaloosas, paints, or quarter horses like patches. Okay? That's a bit of a weird one, but that is what I'm looking for. Here is the next foal that is available. This is actually... Um, let me see here. They're Fjord Arabian. Okay, so I believe this one. Let me just see. Um, I'm going to see what its mother is. <gasps> Nugget. This is, um. It's either Nugget or Chicken Nugget. I think it's Nugget's baby. So this is the daughter of Nugget. Her name is... I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Inochi, but I'm not sure. And since the theme of them has been food slash potato foods, I decided to name her this, which is kind of like a potato pasta type of thing. I don't know how to describe it. Kind of a potato dumpling. I've had them before. My dad made them once. And so that's her name. She's very cute. She's a fjord, and she's going to grow up to look just like, um, just like Nugget, her grandpa. Wait, was that her dad or her grandpa? It's her dad. It's kind of weird. Then again, horses can have lots of kids, even when their kids are still having kids. Anyway, so she is available. Let me know if y'all want to offer for her. Um, I have this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful... <laughs> Sorry. Um, I have this beautiful filly. She is actually a... I, I know you can't believe this, but I was going for a unique coat on a paint horse, I think, and I ended up getting a red roan blanket free instead. So, if y'all want to offer for her, you feel free. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm just going to name her Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood. Alright, let's go on to the next one, guys. Oh no, she grew up! Look it! Okay, there she is all grown up. She grew up on camera, so there she is. She's a cutie pie, just like her uh, dad, Nugget. Look at that. Aw, so cute. And I'm actually going to head back to my uh, barn right now because I've got some other ones i got to show y'all. Oh, by the way, I have a Clydesdale here that's available. It's a Seal Brown Rabacano Clydesdale. 
Um, and it has, I believe, dark chestnut, or is that liver chestnut? Dark chestnut, mane and tail, 96% purebred stallion. Also, apparently, doesn't know how to walk. Let's head back to the private island so I can just show you the new additions to the pasture. All right, we'll just ride him on up here. He's very slow. You slow potato, you. Okay, so we have the same ones we had before. Robin Hood, uh, Golden Retriever. We have a sibling of Stripey right here. So if anyone was interested in Stripey, this stallion is a sibling of Stripey. And he's an OG. He's a great horse, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yep, OG, 57% purebred. Awesome horse. I have a wild-caught gray Frisian here available. I have Big Red 2.0. Big Red 2.0 is quite lovely. I love him. He's awesome. Um, we have a white Arab. A white Akultecki Snowball. He was in our last one, but he's still available. Um, we have Captain Hook. I believe she's wild-caught. Yep. Wild caught on Jungle Island, and I don't know why I named her Captain Hook, but I did. Um, what else do I have here that I have not shown you? Oh, I have a Pearl Thoroughbred as well. It's not an OG, though, but you're welcome to offer. Another one is this one. It is not an OG, but it's a really, really awesome horse. It's very fast. It has an OG stamina stat, and then it's very close to OG on agility. So, it's honestly really great. I mean, y'all would be very happy if you traded for that. Oh, yeah, and Brownie. Brownie is the brown quarter horse coat. She's very beautiful. We love her. She's very happy and clingy. She always walks right up to me in the pasture because she loves me. That's what clingy horses do. Give her a little pet. Aw, Brownie. She's actually really cute. She's like, that's just stunning. Look at that. Anyways, then we're going to go ahead and go inside and see what else I have to offer. I have this Percheron. It's a chestnut overo Percheron. It's actually very hard to get on a Percheron, so... If, oops, I hit a can next to me. If you are interested, Ruby can. Um, if you're interested, there she is. I have Patches. He's still here. He's a wild caught uh, Frisian. He was caught on Volcano Island by moi, July 4th. So he is a. Uh, okay, this fjord is tentatively available if anyone's looking for one. Um, I. If you end up wanting him, I may ask if I can breed him first, or her first. I may ask if I can breed her first, because that's the only bay fjord I have. I can't believe that this guy is still with us. I mean, look at him. Look at that coat. Oh, and the pure white mane and tail. Oh, my goodness. Just look at that. Look, look at it. Look. So beautiful. Next, we have a bay ackle techie with a uh, dark chestnut mane and tail. He is gorgeous, okay? He was part of the Sea Biscuit breeding program, and my goodness, he's just, I mean, look at him. He's one of the fails, see, because he's Akultecki Thoroughbred. But he's gorgeous, got a good temperament, he's energetic. Next, we have the child of Baymax 2.0. Baymax the Frightened. I know he looks like there's no differentiation in color. I think I just have my, I don't know, I have something turned up too far. Uh, maybe I'm too bright. Okay, there, now you can see him a little better. He is pure white. White, 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 white. She. Oh my goodness, why am I always calling the mares he? They're mares. Alright. Sorry, I'm drinking a smoothie while I film. Because I need some breakfast. So, she is wonderful. She's an OG. She's not a purebred. Um, she's 76% purebred, but she... And then she has the OG stats. And her name is Baymax the Frightened. And honestly... Lovely horse. I have her mom and her grandma, and they're both they're all wonderful. Well, actually, I think Bay points to Baymax 2.0 is a stallion, so I have her dad and her grandma. Guys, look at these gorgeous horses, all right? Y'all feel free to offer anytime because these are just awesome. Look at this. Look at that. Even uh, Robin Hood is gorgeous. He's a good boy. Look at him. Oh, he's so good. Look at that coat. Isn't that beautiful? He wants to. Okay, stop biting my feet. Oh, oh, guys, I also have another one here. Um, this is another child of, I think this is Chicken Nugget's child. And his name is Tater Tot. So he's just like Nochi, except he's 70% purebred and he has a flaxen mane and tail. 
But look at him. He's so cute and fat. He just looks like a little tater tot. Well, he's not really fat. He's a chunky boy. I like it. Very nice. We're going to end off by doing one more breeding, guys. And then, I tell you what, y'all just let her rip if you have anything else. You know, any of them that you end up wanting to offer for, I'm happy to entertain. Any offer. Um, I just want to clarify something because I had someone who, uh, I, I think I wasn't clear. Um, I don't, I do not need appies, quarter horses, or paint horses in, in the offers for these, unless it is a unique. I don't need common coats. I'm sorry, I just don't have inventory, and I would end up selling them. And I don't really want them, so... I'm looking for cross coats of any kind. I, I very much love cross coats. And so, also my inventory is quite full. I have quite a diverse, you know, amount of horses. So, if you end up offering and I say no, I'm sorry. I just, I already have a lot and I'm looking for different cross coats and stuff. But I can tell you what I am looking for right now is unique breeding outcomes on paints, appies, and quarter horses for future videos. So, if y'all have any... Just um, let me know what horse you end up wanting, and I will offer. Or, you know, just if you want to have those in your offer, that'd be fine, you know? All right, so we're going to get a fool. And this time, I think we're going to use this beautiful Akultechi someone gave me. Thank you for them, by the way. I love them so much. And we're going to use, not Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell. <clears throat> no. We're going to use a, a Bona. I don't know how to say that. Ebony. Maybe that was what they were trying to go for. I have no idea. But anyways, um, let's breed it and see what we get. We didn't even get a special coat. Great. <gasps> Ooh, well, we got another one of those. Awesome. I like golden buckskin. And now we have this one 2.0. It's literally the exact same horse, isn't it? 52% purebred. Lazy filly. Oh, that's a stallion, so it's daughter. But anyways, look at that. Oh, my goodness. So cute. I love it. Anyways, you guys, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!